That sounds good. I'll have that. Welcome. This is Patrick again, and we're going to talk about mechanical keychains in this video. I just have a little selection here to start. And this will cover mostly clockwork, moving parts, spring loaded, things like that. On the left, you'll see a Takara pocket critter, one of the eggs. We're not going to be talking about that in the video. I'm going to do that in another video where I'll go over them extensively. And this is a perfect example of mechanical keychain though, where it's clockwork pieces, closes it to wind it up, and then you open it and it moves. But that'll be for next time. To start, we're going to talk about these keychains, which were made by Basic Fun. You can see there, basic fun. And you pull the string and the train moves. The knob on the side is for readjusting it if in case it gets stuck. There is one from Lionel, and this one's Thomas the Tank Engine. And it's the same mechanics, just different look. There's a basic fun tag. This is also a basic fun keychain, uh, working etch a sketch. You can see the little line that I'm drawing. I'm not very good at it though, especially since it's so tiny. Basic fun made a lot of very interesting keychains. This one is a uh, timer for when you park your car, so that way you can have, feed the meter and go back outside. You don't get a ticket. It says Swiss made on the front. It doesn't keep time perfectly. You can tell from the ticking that it doesn't tick on time. But in your pocket, it vibrates, and that way you'll know when it's time to feed the meter. Next, we have these. I have no idea who made them. They're just very interesting, very cute. I assume they're from Japan, from the look of them. But you twist the knob, and the characters move. They're held in place by magnets. And these are the only two I've seen like this, so they must be fairly rare. At least in the US. This one is meant to hold multiple keys and you put it on your belt loop and that way you can just unwind it, use the key, and then it'll snap back. It looks like a little fishing rod with reel. These are some of my favorites. These are also my, made by Takara. They look like books, then you open them and there's a scene inside of them. There's a date wheel on that, and if you know much about plastics, they often put date wheels on things to know the month and year that they were produced. So if there's a problem with the plastic, they can go back to the factory and figure out it's a problem in the line, the manufacturing process. There's two versions of this one. Basically, the only difference is the Smithsonian on the back. Some were sewn, uh, sold at the Smithsonian, some were not. It's a little Washington, D.C. scene. This one's of San Francisco. This one is 
of New York. <coughs> they have two dinosaur versions, Dino World 1 Stego, and the next one I'll show in a second. This one is also of New York, but it's Hello Kitty theme. These were sold at the Hello the Hello Kitty store in New York, San Rio. They always get a little stuck. So you gotta help it out. It's a little Hello Kitty Statue of Liberty. This one's a Tyrannosaurus. I don't know why it says Tyranno instead of Tyrannosaurus. They're not very anatomically correct anyway, so maybe that's why. And I thought I had the whole set of these, but as I was making this video, there's one I don't have. It's very annoying. <laughs> but this is the most recent one I got. I didn't know it existed until I saw it on eBay. You can see these were all made in the 90s. The one I don't have is Seaside Story, and it's a little beach scene. This one is a little camping scene. These are some of my favorites. This is a set of Transformers keychains. I don't want to take them out of the box because I like the boxes. They're just like the original Transformers toys with the character cards and all their stats. They released these two in the beginning, Bumblebee and Cliffjumper. It's hard to remember. Wind Charger came in the second set. You can tell in the back of the box that they added these two other ones. These are pretty much exactly like the real toys, but they added a keychain on the front, and you can take the keychain on and off and then use them as a regular transformer if you wanted to. As a clip on the front. And Brawn is the last one. Next, I have a little viewer keychain. They made these in all different styles. This one is wild animals. You got a bear, jaguar, buffalo, seal, otter, another bear. I mean, what? Uh, a mountain lion, an eagle, a baboon. You got a whole set. There's a little reel in there that moves one picture when you click it. This one is an interesting oddity. It's a film camera, and it takes a special cartridge of film that says 110. You can see the in the picture, the film cartridge is those two cylinders on the side of the little camera box. You have to buy the film separate, obviously. So it opens on the side. The film would slide in. The shutter is that little window on the front that you manually open and close to take a picture. like you know, 1800s technology, <laughs> miniaturized. You can see on the back where it says to insert the film, you have a little gear on the side to go to the next, the next shot. It 
to see if I can find the cartridge of film. Next we have a couple music boxes. These are the only two I have because they can be very expensive. First one is made by Sankyo, made in Japan. These are probably the most common type. And you wind it up, and that other button is to stop it or start it. There's a little enamel front you can remove. It's just like a regular music box. It's the stop and start, a little break on the gear. This one, I'm not sure who made it. Doesn't have a label. It's not made by Sankyo. The other major manufacturer is Rouge, and they're Swiss made and they're very expensive. Hundreds of dollars. Partly because of what they're made out of, usually gold or something. This one does not have a removable face, so I can't show the inner workings. These are a set I got fairly recently, I had one, and then I realized they were part of a set, so I had to get the other ones. I think this is the full set. There might be one other that I don't have. You can see these were only sold in Japan. They have typical Japanese packaging. It seems like less than American packaging. Probably trying to save on materials, not create so much trash. Maybe it's my imagination. There they are out of the box. They wind up. These were made by Tomy. I'm not sure if they got bought out and resold because I think Takara Tomy was a company for a while. You open them up and there's a little Pokemon scene in it. And the different balls are the different kinds of Pokeballs you would use in the games. You have Mew and Eevee in this one. Portal and Psyduck in this one. Thanks for watching.